Good morning. I'm very excited because I'm finally going to open this box. Not that. These are some violins from Kennedy Violins that I am so, should I push the box here? Watch out, Peter. So excited to open. I have been searching, like searching and searching for um, some awesome student violins to recommend because I feel like every student violin I found, I have just not, not been a fan of whether they come like completely undone. Hi, buddy. Um, like where you actually have to physically like set them up, put the bridge on and everything like that. I'm like, if it's a student getting this violin, they're not going to know how to do that. So it's kind of pointless to do that. Anyways, so Peter, here it comes it with mommy. We're going to open these violins and see what we think of them. I'm going to play them, show them to you guys, and we're going to see what we think. Wow, that was a good throw. Did you see this packaging? Like, this box is so cool. I love this. Oh gosh, this one came in a gorgeous case. Oh my goodness, love that. Also, a box of accessories. Accessories? Accessories? Is that not how you say it? Accessories. Accessories. <laughs> you want to see? A little name tag a claw, a book. Oh, intro to violin. I'm excited to read that. Some strings. I don't know Portland. I've never heard of Portland violin strings, but that's what they have in the accessory box. Okay, remember we can be gentle to violins, okay? Peter does have his own violin, so he kind of thinks he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Why is this not opening? Wow. Very out of tune. This is the first file we have. Oh, that's cool, buddy. Have our bow. Let's try this out. This case is gorgeous as well. This is so important, like when it comes with like a nice rosin, a nice dark rosin. Love that. Okay, let's see what we think of violin number one. It has all the fine tuners here, which is so helpful. Thanks. Pro tip, whenever you're tuning your E, don't um, like tune it like you usually would where you're playing it on your shoulder. I always take it off my shoulder and get it to approximate tuning and then I put it back on my shoulder. Okay, we got it in tune, man. Hey, accessories back into that box. You're so cute. Oh, Peter, do you see that? He literally put everything back into the box. Oh, good job, buddy. Good job. Very smart. That's very smart. This is the Antonio Guiliani violin. I might have to take this off the bow in order to play. sound of it it's actually so like has such a beautiful like ringing tone the g like the low strings are not my favorite but the violin is beautiful itself the bow plays nicely um yeah that's a solid violin okay let's open the next one it looks 
looks like they all come in these really nice cases. Okay, so in these accessories, it's the same. It's some strings, um, the Kennedy violins, like their little cloth, and then also like a luggage tag for your case. This one does not have the intro to violin book like the other one had. Oh, whoa, 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 look at this one. This one has some gold fine tuners, so beautiful. Oh, this one says Louis Carpini. This one is like very well in tune. I'm gonna play the same song on this one. goodness I love everything about this violin this is beautiful this is a gorgeous gorgeous violin oh my gosh this bow though is not my favorite I think that if you can invest in a slightly better bow I would highly highly recommend it um the stick is kind of heavy and it's slightly slightly bouncy as you play whoa Okay, so this one just came in a regular basic black case that says Portland, must be the brand of it. This one might be their, um, the cheapest model. I'm not sure yet, but this one did actually come with a shoulder rest, which is amazing. It comes with a tuner. I just think that like are so important. The cloth, the strings, and the luggage tag for your case, as well as the intro to violin guide. I am gonna try this um, shoulder rest because I'm curious what I think about that. This shoulder rest is actually so amazing. It's super soft and squishy here, but look at that. That's beautiful. I love that. Okay, oh, does not quite fit the violin. Are you trying to lift the box? This is like a awesome playground for you, huh? <laughs> Look what came in the mail, it's Peter. It's very out of tune. Oh, and the, the, the bow has no rosin on it either. Okay, so this one has just kind of a, a cheap um, rosin. Yeah, it's just a light rosin, not the best. I'm gonna use the, the cheap rosin because I wanna know exactly what it comes with. By the way, even on cheap rosins, I know there's like the whole myth going around that you have to scratch the rosin. You absolutely do not have to scratch the rosin. I'm literally just gonna start rosining the bow and it's gonna work. So you don't need to scratch your rosin. Just in case you were told that from somebody who didn't know. See, look, you can tell it's already working. I don't know if you can tell that, but it is. And I didn't scratch it, shock. Peter's back there having a blast. There you go, now we can actually play it. Okay, so this, this note is way too high, which is slightly scary. So this is the Richard, okay, I say it Bunnell because that was my old last name, but I think it's Boonell or but but Boonell. I don't know. I say it, but now <laughs> I'm sure it's wrong. Okay, let's try this one. Actually quite nice as well 
you can definitely tell it's a student like a like very much a student violin compared to like the other one we displayed i want to compare it though to the middle um i have two seconds i want to compare it to the middle like the first violin we tried and see like of the two which one we like better okay so of the two this is the Benel, which is, I believe, their cheapest model. I'll put the prices up and everything. I believe this is their cheapest model. And then this is their middle model. Um, I'm not 100% sure. It just says Antonio Guilini in here. Um, so that's, that's the, the, I believe this is their middle model. Let's play them back to back. I'm going to play the Benel one more time since that's, since that's what we were playing just now. Okay, let's just play the beginning part. <laughs> So honestly, um, the, the Benel has a very nice sound and it doesn't have the kind of like nasally sound. This one sounds a bit nasally to me, honestly, compared to the Benel. It has actually a nice rich full sound. You can for sure tell it's a student violin, but I feel like on this one, it's even more obvious, honestly. Um, so if you were going to get one of these two, I think I would actually lean towards the Benel, but of all three of them, there is absolutely no, um, no competition at all. The, the most expensive one, the third one is, or the, the second one we played, 100% the best violin, 100% if you're looking at any of these.